everyone, welcome to my channel, Love to Create by Tanya. Today I have a haul for you. I've been kind of collecting these items throughout last week and today I kind of finished up and they're from Dollar General, a few things from Dollar Tree and Michaels and Hobby Lobby and I just found some really unique things and I've got some really fun DIYs coming up because I want to do a different style of the pumpkins and I can't wait to share that with you and I did pick up some of the ribbon that I'm going to be using in that bow tutorial and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the items that I had found at Dollar General. Now, these were marked down. They were $3 and they were 50% off, and they do have the little flower emblem on here, but I'm gonna leave that, and I love this pink, so I'm just gonna turn these around, do something that kinda has the fall look to it, and the reason why I love these so much is because I found this picture and everyone get to Dollar General when they finally do get the stuff out because this is great look at this and I'm just loving these colors together and you know I don't do a whole lot with the trucks but this little black truck right here this one stole my heart and I just love it and like I said it was six dollars I mean and it's you know a really nice size but that's the other thing I got from Dollar General. Let me put this down here. And then I thought, this is one of their cinnamon brooms. And of course you can see that's a pretty good size. And I thought, what a fun door greeter that this is gonna make. So that'll be something fun that we're gonna do. And then I found something that was a little bit different and these weren't on sale, but I just think that these would be really fun to decorate for fall. And now these were $5, but I just felt like this was one of those items that you could really decorate for Easter, for autumn, for Christmas if you wanted to, and definitely for spring. But I got two of these and absolutely love the size of these. And actually, I just love these because I just think they're so pretty. Now let's see what else. I think that was it for the Dollar General. Now the things that I found at Dollar Tree, there really wasn't a whole lot from Dollar Tree, but what I did get is so very important, everyone, because I got several of these and they're gonna be going some of these in the giveaway basket. And I also went ahead and picked up several of these because you know, these really, they go quickly, and I wanted to definitely have some of these really good items to put in that giveaway basket. And then I also found these little tin pails that they were just unboxing yesterday. everyone that's pretty much it for the Dollar Tree I am so I keep grabbing my glasses because I'm still waiting to get them fixed now the next place that I stopped was Big Lots and the, they had uh, I'm struggling people struggling today now the next thing I want to share with you is I saw these really neat lights and some of these bowl fillers at uh, Big Lots and they were 50% off, but I really like these and I thought that we could do something with these, just maybe like putting a little bit of paint on them and aging them up a little bit, but they were four, well, these were $6. And then I found the little fillers for four dollars a piece so I got two of those and I love these little pieces in here and I thought those would make great little pumpkin stems and I did have one more set of lights but I think I already have that in there with the DIY but definitely a good deal and I went in there again today and they actually had these still on the shelf so that was a great little find and I know we can incorporate those into our fall and Christmas decor the next place I stopped was Michael's and I was really happy with what I found there that was marked down and what they had left. 
I thought these little eucalyptus and these actually smell so good. And they were regular $10 and they were 70% off. But I thought those were really, really fun. Actually, I got this container at uh, Dollar General. But these are gonna be really fun in a DIY that I got coming up. And then they had several of these bouquet of these little flowers. And these were $1.99 and 70% off. But there was several of those in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to incorporate these in to the designs. Ooh, I'm gonna try to incorporate these into the designs that I'm gonna be doing on my pumpkins. Cause I thought it would just give them like a pop of color. Now let's see, oh okay. Now I wanna show you the ribbons that I found. And these are definitely important because these are the ones that I'm going to be using in the bow tutorial. But I absolutely love these colors, love the green and the plaid. And then I got more of the traditional autumn colors. And then I thought this one was really pretty with the pumpkins. And then right when I was checking out, they had these candles and I love the wood top on this. And this one is toasted marshmallow bars. Yes, or no, it's toasted s'mores. But oh my God, it smells so good. But I just end up leaving mine setting open like this and not even burning it. But these were definitely a good deal because they were uh, $8.99. And keep in mind, all of this is my book. Now these right here, this was probably the best deal that I had found at Michael's. And it was these little wood beads. And I got four bags of these and they were 50% off the regular $20. I think they were actually 60% off. And I just love the little balls that you can use to do the real fun little wreaths with or garland. And then they had the really fun shapes. And I thought these could be used as the legs for the risers. So I actually got two bags of these. And I thought these were just neat because they look like the little pumpkins. And I may have shown you these before, but I have these in there with me. Oh, here's the other set of the lights that I had picked up at Big Lots. Now, I found some really neat flowers and I have decided I think I'm gonna kind of go with that neutral colors in my living room and kind of have that black truck with maybe some of that sage green and that peachy, almost like a peachy pink. But I definitely wanted to pull in a lot of this creamy ivory color. So I found two of these and let me see what were these. I think these were like $3.99. And then and of course they had all of their greenery stems marked down. And I think they were 40% off, but the thing of it is, they're more expensive than Dollar Tree, but I love the quality of these and some of the color tone. This one was $6.99, and I just love the lines running through this, and I think this is gonna look really pretty on one of our little wire pumpkins. And then I found some of the fern. I'm gonna be doing something with that. And then I love this both of these, just kind of that peachy pink color. But definitely check out Michael's if you plan on doing that color scheme because they had some really, just look how pretty these are together. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what, oh, I did pick up at Big Lots some of the little mini lights because I'm gonna do a tree. Now I wanted to show you some of the things that I found at Hobby Lobby. These were marked down so cheap and 99 cents for both of these. And I thought these could be used as a base for a Christmas tree. I mean, you could paint these. I mean, I just thought for the size, there's so many things you could do with these. And that was a really good find. And then they had these cute little 
tiny uh, blue ones, and I thought that was another really fun. Even if you wanted to save this and use this like as a, like a little beehive. And then of course I just had to go down that aisle with the flowers and grab a few more. And I thought these were just really simple and pretty. And of course they were 40% off in $3.99, but that was a really good deal. And okay. Let me see. I'm going to save the ones that I'm really thrilled about for last. And then I picked up some lights because they had these for 25% off. And I don't know about you, but they don't have any of the lights out yet except for the Halloween and fall lights at Dollar Tree. So I picked up some of these because I got some th things I'm going to be doing that I want to light up. And I went ahead and picked up, I really want to be pulling in these colors in my living room. So I got the Italian Sage and this one is just an ivory white and this one is the Forest Moss, which I think I actually have some of this one. Okay everyone, these are the things that I were the most excited about. These were 50% off and the reason why I'm just thrilled to get these is I have a really neat idea for some of these wreaths that I'm gonna be making. And uh, I just love the, the nature tones in this. But what I found is three of these. Now these are $8.99 and these were all 50% off. But I want you to look at how they're just so nature and outdoor looking. I just love that. And I think that's gonna be really pretty to bring that in on a wreath. And then I found these three, and like I said, they're 50% off, so $5 a roll, and they have actually 15 feet. So I was pretty thrilled with that. And I had this idea for a braided look, and I was so happy to find out that they already had these braided, so that was a, and that's a lot of little rope. And then I thought, this is the, um, I think this is the wire jute, yeah, and it's a lot thicker than what they had at Dollar Tree, so I definitely wanted that to do something with our little pumpkin wreath. And then I always check out that uh, wedding section over there, and they always have the neatest design. So I thought this burlap with the little pearls in between there, and then I really like this uh, light colored twine. That's pretty much all I have for my haul today, and I hope you saw a lot of things that were different from the things that you had found, and maybe this gives you some different ideas of different things to look for. And like I said, I am so excited. I cannot wait to share this bow tutorial with you. I've got uh, a couple DIYs I gotta get done first, and you know we're gonna be working on our little pumpkin wreath rims here and I have got some really pretty ideas with these colors that I have shown you but um, I guess that's pretty much it and I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye and if you don't mind if you could give this video a thumbs up that really does help YouTube notice my channel a little bit more and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would hope you consider doing so and if you are a subscriber I thank you so much once again for your support and keep in mind that I'm gonna be doing that giveaway when I hit the 3,000 subscribers. So everyone, please like and share with your friends. Um, you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna put into that basket. I am just collecting things that are what I kinda of like to call the staple items that you can really create your own creations. And I'll have a few of the fun little tiny things in there from different places too. And when it gets closer to the end of the month, hopefully by then, um, I can get up to right near the 3,000 is what I'm hoping. But once again, I do thank each and every one of you for your support. And I'm going to go ahead and get off here and get back to those DIYs. Well, I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you on the next one.